Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of pyonephrosis with bilateral perincarnal disease and bilateral multiple renal stones. You can see the left kidney and left kidney shows multiple renal stones. This kidney is partially functioning as the renal cortical thickness is decreased but the other kidney, the right kidney, shows a gross pyonephrosis with almost max maximum decrease in the renal cortical thickness and the right kidney is non-functioning. This kidney is partially functioning. You can see the multiple large stones. Pyonephrosis is a term used to an infection of the kidney with pus in the upper collecting system which can progress to obstruction. You can see the multiple stones in the renal pelvis of the kidney and a stunt is also visible. This is the stunt and this stunt is the lower end of the stunt lies in the urinary bladder and the stunt has reached the kidney via the ureter and this was passed to facilitate the passage of the ureters through the kidney through the ureters as the ureters were also obstructed when the stunt was passed. The ureter stones were passed out but the renal stones are seen. You can see the renal cortical thickness is 7.3 millimeter which is less than normal, normal range of the cortical thickness. Now again you can see the multiple stones and the stunt. Pyonephrosis is suspected when the clinical symptoms of fever and flank pain are combined with the radiological evidence of urinary tract obstruction. Debris in the upper collecting system on imaging raises even more suspension. Now you are going to see the right kidney and this kidney shows grossly dilated pelvic ulcerial system with a large amount of pus seen in the dilated pelvic ulcerial system. Pyonephrosis on ultrasound is seen as multiple echoes within the distended pelvic ulcerative system that develops from pus, debris or hemorrhage. Urothelial thickening is a fairly non-specific finding seen in infection. Vesicoureteric reflex VUR, stone disease and obstruction. Now you can see clearly see the pus debris or hemorrhage seen in the dilated pelvic ulcerative system. Now this is the thick sludge. Ultrasound usually shows dilatation of the pelvic ulcerative system with With, the, with some additional features, ecogenic debris in the collecting system considered the most reliable sign. Fluid fluid levels within the collecting system, incomplete shadows of gas in the collecting system may occasionally be seen. Pyonephrosis, pyonephrosis that is pus in the renal pelvis 
results from urinary tract obstruction in the presence of pyelonephritis, purulent exudate that is inflammatory cells in infectious organism and necrotic sloughed urothelium collects in the hydronephrotic collecting system and forms an abscess. Now again you can see the multiple stones in the renal pelvis of the kidney. So pyonephrosis is defined as infected hydronephrosis complicated by infectious destruction of the renal parenchyma or the presence of pus in the dilated pylocalcellial that is pus in the pelvic alcellular system. So the pyonephrosis pus in the renal pelvis result from urinary tract obstruction in the presence of pyelonephritis similar to an abscess pyonephrosis is typically associated with fever, chills and flank pain although some patients may be asymptomatic. You can see the multiple stones and these stones are impacted in the thick sludge debris seen in the dilated pelvic ulcerial system. Pylonephritis is inflammation of the kidney typically due to bacterial infection. Symptoms most often include fever and flank tenderness. Other symptoms may include nausea, burning with urination and frequent urination. Complications may include pus around the kidneys, sepsis or kidney failure. So the two common laboratory tests are performed to diagnose kidney infection that is pyelonephritis. A urine sample is examined under a microscope to determine if white and or red blood cells are seen. The urine is also sent to the laboratory to see if bacteria grows in the urine. In the urine culture. Etiology. Now the etiology of the pyl pyelonephritis. The main cause of acute pyelonephritis is gram-negative bacteria, the most common being E. coli. Other gram-negative bacteria which is cause acute pyelonephritis include Proteus, Calypsilla and Enterobacterial. Enterobacter. In most patients, the infecting organism will come from the fecal flora. A possible complication of acute pyelonephritis is chronic kidney disease. If the infection continues, the kidney may be permanently damaged as the case in this patient. Now you can see the unibladder and unibladder shows the lower end of the these stunts passed in both the kidneys. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.